who's excited? <gasps> I'm feeling sick. Headed to the house anyway. We'll see what we can get done. If you've watched our last video, you'll know Heather was there grouting some tile for the shower and bathtub surround. I'm gonna start on the butcher block countertops today. I'll start doing the counter for the bar area and start working on the laundry room, mud room, bench and countertops down there. We'll see, we'll see how I feel and see how far we get today. We'll see you at the house. It is such a lovely morning. I'm just headed into the house. There are so many new faces around here that I thought it might be nice to give you all a little backstory who we are and how we ended up with this flip house. My name's Heather and I'm an interior designer. Chris, my husband, who I've been with for over 20 years, is a renovations contractor. Over the years, we've done so many houses for ourselves as well as for our clients. We've always dreamed of just flipping houses and creating beautiful homes ourselves. So we finally did it with this great little condo. And this is actually episode number 24. We have been sharing weekly updates about our progress. You might want to go back to the beginning and see this terrible kitchen. And we are working away to make this a beautiful home for someone. And then of course, we're excited to be moving on to the next one soon. But first, Chris is installing countertops in our beautiful arched bar. I'm just going to make a template actually, just because the old framing, this corner is horribly unsquare. I'm just going to make a template, scribe the walls, so then I have an exact replica, so I can cut the wood countertop and it'll fit perfectly. That's a ton of work. Yeah. I'm excited to see this counter go in. You sound terrible, by the way. I'm sorry I gave you my cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, working through it. <laughs> oh, trooper. The other thing we have to deal with is the pull-up pantry. We just got to make sure everything clears. Oh yeah. And doesn't bump into it. That is so tight. But you'll be able to make that work. Yeah, no, it'll be no problem. Okay, great. And then you and I were going to talk about the hood fan because yes. you're going to build that for me, right? Yeah. So we're getting close to be able to build that up and get it ready to okay. install. Awesome. Because I need some time to paint it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, we have to talk about size. Yes. Obviously, we've got it drawn on the wall. So the 42 inch one. Yeah, I like it a little bit wider than the range. Like even though we only have a normal 30 inch range, mm -hmm. I think the wider hood fan just looks richer. Are we just doing square? So I had originally thought of doing this arch detail. Then I was sort of off of it because I didn't know if we needed another arch detail. And I was wondering if we just did it totally square. Right. But I don't know. Now that I'm back in here, I actually really like this little arch. Are we okay to do that? Or is it too complicated and you want to go to the square? We can try and figure it out. <laughs> so you're going to tackle that early this week, you think? Yeah, maybe tomorrow, depending maybe on how tomorrow, I feel. tomorrow, except you might go home to go to bed today. Mm -hmm. I think you should. You've been working hard. Okay, I'm excited to see the hood fan go up. Feels like we're yeah. almost there. Couple weeks. bar top done starting to come together but I think that's it for me today I'm gonna head home try and get some rest hopefully I'm healthy tomorrow so we'll see you then feeling a little better today so back at the house today I think I'm gonna start working on our range wall so I'm gonna work on the paneling there get that up so we can get a coat of paint on hopefully by the end of the day I can start working on the Heather's hood fan ideas so lots to do and finish still but uh, getting closer every step so better get at it Finally feeling better? Slightly. <laughs> We're figuring out. The head fan. So we've got a few kind of measures to go from. Okay. Obviously our width and our height. Uh, I have the cutout dimensions for the bottom to actually put the head fan in. So we kind of came up with a depth with that. And you kind of came up with a height for the front before we start into the, the detail yeah. of the arc. So this is basically, you just cut out like a big rectangle overall size of the side. Yeah, that's the overall height and width. And so you're just going to mark the five inches? Yeah. And that's the little detail at the bottom. Now I just need to figure out the perfect arc shape. I don't think I want the arc to be this dramatic. I want it a little softer. So just eyeballing it, which is the secret to all great custom design things. I feel like that's like a little bit of a gentler arc. Oh, you know what? I wish we had, there are like arcy things. 
arky things. Is that the technical thing? Yeah, there's like little rubber things that like make an arc. Yeah, and we don't have one. We don't have one. We found a piece of foam. This is gonna be much better. <laughs> the, the, sketch was, the sketch was getting hard to follow. I think this is nice. And then it's not too sharp of a radius down here. It's just like a gentle slope. And then it's just a bit of a shape because I don't want like a big giant square. I think I want a bit of dimension on the hood band. Okay, I feel confident about sketching this down. I feel really good about this shape. Okay, that works really well. I'm so glad that you found that piece of foam. Now I have to try and make a router template out of this. Okay. Just so I can make consistent cuts. Good luck with that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. Got the template cut out from Heather's arch drawing. I'm ready to just head down to the saw. I'm gonna pre-cut a whole bunch of pieces. I'm gonna use my router to cut out the curve. A much more professional finish. Take a while to get everything prepped, but hopefully by the end of the day, we can get a hood fan built. end of the day I did get the hood fan together I still have to do some prep work for paint fill the nail holes and then sand that filler off we're getting there but tomorrow I'll get all that prep work done and then hopefully we'll get it hung on the wall and then we can get measures for the marble that's underneath for our stone guys to cut not this week but I think next week is when we're getting our stones so making progress we'll see you tomorrow painters actually showed up late yesterday kind of as I was leaving and they've gotten the start on painting the trim we'll be back today kind of have to keep out of their way but I have to still cut the bottom of the hood fan where the actual hood fan insert goes go get that all cut so it can get prepped for paint as well Heather's actually picking up the the mirrored tile for our bar area so I'm not sure when she's showing up but that might work out that I can work there and stay out of the painter's way or I still have butcher block countertop to put in the laundry area so depending on where the painters are I'll just kind of do whatever I can around them so yeah should be another busy day so better get at it. Our prep for paint so we'll have to let that dry do a sand but a little tip that i learned from my uncle i'm actually filling all these nail holes with auto body filler so this is pre-mixed glazing and spot putty you can find it at your auto parts store some paint stores actually do carry the pre-mixed tubes now but it dries super quick it doesn't shrink like wood filler and it'll sand out nice match the finish of our mdf then we'll hit that up with primer and get it all ready for Heather's plaster finish. Hood fan's ready, so I'm gonna carry that upstairs to the kitchen and start getting that installed. And then I'll move back down to the basement and try and start getting that countertop in, as well as the bench down there. Don't know how far I'll get on the bench, but definitely I wanna try and get that laundry countertop in before the end of the day. So, pressure's on. We had a successful Wednesday, I think. It was a little tough working around the painter. Keep bumping into each other, working where each other are working. So I was able to get the hood fan up and I also was able to get the laundry room countertop and the mudroom bench. I still have some shelves to put up down there, but Heather was able to pick up the mirrored tile and some slate tile today. I think my plan tomorrow is going to be to maybe tile the fireplace and then also the bar area. I think I'll be a little more out of the painter's way that way, so hopefully it works a little better tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see what we can get done. I'm just getting set up to tile the fireplace. We've got some slate tile for that. Painters have been here painting doors and trim, and I think we're ready today to do final coat of paint on the walls, so that's kind of exciting. We're getting set up for our bar area. Not actually sure if I'm gonna start with the fireplace or up here. I'm gonna go set up my saw, think about that, but let's get started.
about to get going on the fireplace tile. I did just finish the mirror tile up in our bar area, but you're gonna have to wait for Heather to show up so she can reveal that. As you can imagine, cutting of the arch tiles is pretty difficult, so once I got to the arch, the tiles in their packaging were separated with cardboards. Every row I was basically making a template, tracing out the arch and putting that onto the tile and trying to get it as close as possible. So a little tedious, hopefully this one goes a bit quicker. Another day, another visit to the hardware store. This time, we need to figure out how we're going to solve this little problem right here. So these are the gorgeous butcher block counters that we got to make all of the benches, but anywhere where it's exposed, we need a stain. And I thought I would save Chris yet another trip to the hardware store and I would come pick out the perfect stain to finish these countertops. Then I'm gonna run it down to him because I can't wait to see what he's installed on site. Chris thinks all we need is one of these little cans and he's asked me to get this gel stain. That way when he's brushing it on the vertical ends of the countertop, it's not gonna drip all over the place. So that's really smart. Rona has all these color samples, which is great, except they don't have one in these. So, these so we're going with the pitcher on the can. Hopefully that color works and I'm not back at Rona later today. see him. Ooh, but we see a tile saw. I dropped off the mirrored tiles yesterday, so I hope he's installing them. Let's go take a look. <gasps> oh, this is the countertop for the washer dryer. Holy cow. That's going to be amazing. Oh, and the bench for the little mudroom. It looks so good. Things are really coming along. Hi, Chen. <laughs> You're tiling? Oops, tile. Fireplace. Oh, you are? What about the mirrored tile? Was that? Oh, we all know what that shrug means. Who's excited? Oh, what you don't know is that I can see the hood fan is installed. Okay, let's take it in together. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, it's amazing. I can't believe you got that all done in one day. Like this morning. Yeah. Wow, fast. Oh my goodness, I love it. This looks so good. Yeah, what a difference. Yeah, I can't believe how much light it lets in. It's gorgeous, like unbelievably gorgeous. I'm so glad we did that. Oh, the fan is amazing. I so love it. It's not done because your plaster finish isn't on it. I know, I mean, that's what I'm tackling tomorrow. Once the appliances come then. It'll start to look really finished. And Chris has the paneling up, but we've decided actually to install a full slab of the stone here in this section. We're just worried that this might be a little bit hard to keep clean. We're going all the way up there. We have just enough marble to do that. And then our beautiful marble ledge will be on either side and around the window. Now that I've recovered from the beautiful mirrored tile, you heard the part about how they didn't have any samples of the stain, so I have no idea. I judged it based on that little photo. It's definitely not the right way to pick a color. So fingers crossed it works and I don't have to go back. We're about to find out. <laughs> Ooh, do you think it's too dark? I just got oh, actually. I think it's actually gonna be pretty close. Holy cow. The renovation gods are smiling on us today, Draper. Yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty good. Okay, great. Yeah. And next you're gonna tile the fireplace, hey? Yeah. I really hope that when you told me you only needed two tiles and I got you three, that you don't end up needing a fourth. Me too. <laughs> Would you like to tell the people how many tiles you need? <laughs> we need one more. Apparently, I am finishing my day, headed back to the special tile store that carries black slate to get Chris one more tile. He owes me that. One, 
little slate tile secured and they are all making fun of me in there because yesterday I was like, he said he needs two, but I'm gonna get three. That should be enough. And then we're all laughing because here I am back today for one more time. But we'll get this back to Chris and we'll see if he's got that fireplace pretty much done by the time we get up. Oh, ready for one more tile? Pretty close. Really? Perfect timing? Yeah, I like it. Successful day. I was able to get the fireplace tile done. Thankfully, Heather could run out and grab that missing tile. The bar area looks stunning. It's amazing to finally see it come together. Tomorrow, I'm hoping to keep working on the shelf that goes there. Then we have another bench in the front entryway. That'll be tomorrow working on kind of shelves and, and benches. Meantime, before I head home, got some cleanup to do. So we'll be back tomorrow. Thursday morning, actually, sorry, Friday morning. And we're just getting to the house. I think we're gonna continue working on benches, shelves. There's a bench actually to go in here, so we'll get that done. We have a shelf to cut for the bar area, so I'll probably start with those two because they're bigger pieces. I'm just getting ready to put up the brackets for our shelf and drill some holes through the mirrored tiles. I have a set of glass and tile bits that I'll be using. I've got my laser level set up on the tripod here, but funny story, when you shoot a laser into the mirror, it reflects. So not as easy as I thought it was gonna be, but I have this tape up where the brackets are going so I can actually put my marks and the laser line is level on the top of these. So I'm putting brackets here and here. I know there's a stud there and I put blocking back in there. That's how I know where my brackets were going. We had pre-planned all that. I'm gonna get going on that. I guess the only other tip I should show you is the back of the brackets. I actually had some thin furniture felts. That way when I tighten it onto the mirror, it's not the metal against the, the mirrored tile. So hopefully we'll prevent any sort of cracking as I snug these down. So wish me luck. Hopefully we don't crack anything. bracket up. I ended up tightening it down by hand just because I have a better feel of how tight it's getting because I didn't want to crack tiles. But the last hole I drilled, I cracked a tile. So that's how my day's going. I'm gonna have to try and bust that out, replace it with a new one, and drill another hole for that bracket. The technique I was using for drilling is a small bit for a pilot hole and then slowly going to a bigger hole. The last drill bit through caught and cracked the tile unfortunately. So that's gonna take me a bit of time. Hopefully we can get that out of there somewhat easy and then get that bracket and get our shop up. Better try and solve that problem. I'm just pulling up to the house. I've decided that Fridays are my Heather does DIYs at the house day. I am so excited to be plastering the gorgeous hood fan that Chris made, but I'm feeling a little stressed out. The photos to list this house are in two weeks from this Monday and we have so much to do. I also need to sort out all of the furniture and decor to get this house staged and looking its best. So better get in the house and get some work done. Primer coat is done on the hood fan and it's already looking so good with the cabinet. I have so many things to think about for staging. We're gonna talk about that. But first, look, I got a box of something. Let's have an opening just for the fun of it to give me the energy to go back to figuring out all the other things I need to order still. So let me get my handy work table here. I'm excited to open. I'm always excited to open the things. This is this really beautiful art that I ordered. It looked super gorgeous online, so I'm excited. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, but I didn't realize that I was going to need to frame it myself. That was unexpected. It's these gorgeous oak frames and these really beautiful prints. Isn't that gorgeous? You hear that, right? That's what's happening. So these are gonna be gorgeous. And my thought is that I will frame these in the frames they came with. And I'm going to do 
One, two, three. There's six different images. Four, five, six. My bad. <laughs> but look, the shelf is going up over there. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the six across this back wall and I'm super excited about that. But I have to figure out a few more art solutions. We have this wall. I don't know how much anybody has really seen of this wall, but you'll notice that the guys elected to put a plug for a TV opposite the island, which I realize some people will want and enjoy. I need to find a piece of art to go here. I have for staging a desk going here at this wall, and maybe I'll talk about why a little bit more in two weeks when I get to stage this beautiful house and show that off to you. For now, I need to think of art for that. I need to check some sizes of some other stuff. For art, there's just so much available online, but I was kind of digging through my phone. I have some beautiful photos that I came across from our trip to Paris. I'm thinking what I might do is see about taking these to a printer, see if I can get them turned into some beautiful framed art. In order to do that, I gotta figure out where they're going and what size I need to do them in. Dirty, damn, sorry about that. All of my beautiful artwork is ordered. Now it is time, I think, yep. The primer is nice and dry. I'm going to put the first coat of plaster on the hood fan. So excited for this. I would interrupt my time lapse to tell you a little bit of what I'm doing here because I've learned some tricks my second time using the pure and original wall plaster and I want to show them to you. When I did the fireplace I wasn't totally in love with the texture that the brush left behind. I could see like the lines of the bristles of the brush so for the fireplace I thought I would try it just with a little plaster paddle. This has a name. Putty knife. Just a little putty knife. I'm just putting on a very generous coat of the plaster and leaving all these little ridges. As it dries, what I'm finding is I'm able to just smooth them out. And that right there, I hope you can see it, is the texture that I'm looking for. So I'm just putting on really generous layers, letting them kind of set up a bit and then going back and working over them. And then of course, as you know from watching me do the fireplace, I'm gonna come back tomorrow and probably end up doing a second coat because I'm guessing there's gonna be parts of this that I don't love, just like with the fireplace. But let's keep going because it's coming together amazing. I cannot wait to come tomorrow morning and see it when it's dry. hood pen is drying. Chris is done installing countertops. It is time to install some cabinetry hardware and I haven't even opened the packages. I would ask Chris for his knife, but oh. <laughs> okay, yes, absolutely happy. Love the color. So good, right? I don't love the super shiny brass. What do you think? So now it we just- It actually kind of ties in with the, what do you call that mirror? The mirror. Oh, the antiques mirror? Yeah, yeah antiques mirror. Cause yeah. it's kind of dull as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's my whole vibe, you know? Kind of a little min vintage, a little modern organic. So these guys go, look at these guys. Cute are they? Oh my God, they're so adorable. I have no rule of thumbs. I wish I had some like designer secret rule of thumb on how to place your hardware, but right. I don't. Is your footwear steel toe? No, I took off my shoes because I was hot. Should I put them back on? Well, just don't drop anything on your toes. <laughs> so I just kind of eyeball it. This would be way too low. I like it kind of equidistance from the side detail and equidistance from the top detail. And I think I'm going to call it and say... Inch and a half, inch and a half. So if it goes an inch and a half over there, does it go an inch and a half here mm, or in the center? I think in the center. Of okay, one. I agree. I think it's in the center of this one, but that's too tight. So I like that. Should you position 
these handles. Okay, so and that might go in the center of the Can them or you something. hold that guy for me? Yeah, good point, good point. Okay, so these guys were thinking now these I don't want in the center because I hate that. This is just like if you center these ones, by the time you center the lower ones, you're bending way over to reach the bottom. Okay, that's a good point too. For me, it's a visual thing. So this is what you hear us say about the golden ratio, where I'm not three quarters of the way up and I'm not a third of the way up, I'm actually landing somewhere in between that number. I can just eyeball it because I get a sense of where it feels right for me, but that is going to be the height. And then of course, we'll match it below so that they're the same drop. Love that, Chris. Absolutely, that's what we'll do. And for width, I like this. Okay, do you wanna mark? I have no more hands. <laughs> Put it on the thing. Okay, perfect. So wherever these bars go, we'll match that. And then... And so what about this one though, in relation yeah, he, to that? Yeah, he'll be centered on that. Yeah, centered top to bottom. Yeah. And then centered on this guy. And then these doors here where the little knobs also go, I'll have you match those doors. Those bars, yeah. yeah, exactly. So whatever height this one goes at, we're gonna do the same sort of distance down from the top on these ones. Okay. And then what I wanna do for the pantry over there is just line it up. You'll get to play with your laser level that we all know you love so much. And then, oh, this has a 10 inch bar though. So the bigger bar, but the same so that these ones are in line for height. Okay. Cool? Yep. All right. Perfect. Hopefully we actually have the right amount of hardware because inevitably you're missing one. Let's drill some holes. So I like to use a center punch in each of my marks so I can perfectly center the tip of my brad point drill bit onto the mark. The block of wood behind prevents material from blowing out and make sure if you don't damage the back side of the door or the drawer. I jinxed us. I am laying out all of the hardware for the drawers that they go with and I went to go get the 10 inch poles and guess what didn't arrive. So we will be installing those in a couple of days when they reship them from Amazon. We're working extra days now trying to hit our target list date. I have a very long list. I am so excited to finish my hood fan because there it is dry. It is looking so good. I'm definitely much happier with the texture using just the trowel. So that was a good lesson. Right now I am going to touch up the powder room. When I painted all the trim, I am not a super expert painter. I got some of the green paint on the wall. If I leave it on the walls like that, it's actually going to show through the paper. So I just have a little brush. I'm going to touch it with the powder room. I'm going to go work on my hood fan. I'm going to keep tackling the whole rest of the list. I am just so excited. I cannot believe we are so close to getting this place done. We gotta go find all the ones that are new and we've gotta put them where they go. Daddy's clue was that he's covered up. Yeah. Because that floor has no heater. It does have a heater? No. Oh, Daddy's saying yes. Whoa. Yeah, Daddy's. Look under the cardboard. You think it's under those blocks? Let's see.
Good job with the drill. I'm so proud of you, baby. Okay, you can knock it off our list. Do you want to read your book for a little bit? And mommy is going to finish the hood fan. I've given the hood fan a light sand from everything that I did yesterday. And now there's dust all over it. I'm just going to give it a quick second coat. I really liked how much dimension I got out of the fireplace when I did the little second coat. They didn't do an entire like complete perfect coat. I just gave a little bit of shape in a few spots. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that. And then I think we're going to call it a fan now. We got lots happening. We're putting up shelves in the basement. Heather's plastering the hood fan. We're doing touch ups. We've got Fiona helping out, doing a big tidy. Good progress today. Such good helper, hey? Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. She's doing awesome. You're doing a great job, baby. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Fiona is killing the tidy, which wasn't even on the list. And I am going to work on grouting the fireplace. So Chris got all of that new slate tile on to finish the border. And I just need to get the tiniest bit of grout into these joins. When he cut the tile, it has this gorgeous raw natural edge. I'm gonna try to keep that exposed because I think it is so beautiful. Okay, this was a very finicky job. Trying to keep the grow only in these tiny little areas. I was able to preserve that raw edge. Now I just need to let the grow set up a bit, then I can come back and wipe it down and hopefully it will be all done and we can check another thing off our list. End of another week. End of another week-ish. Because <laughs> <laughs> but... I'll be here tomorrow. You will be here tomorrow yeah. because we're getting things knocked off the list. Yeah. Tomorrow, I'm going to start finishing stairs, which <gasps> is so excited. a big thing to That's check gonna off. It's going to make a big difference. Baby, you're going to go mark off some stuff off our list? Okay, please don't mark off finish hood fan because I feel like it looks Hold very on, splotchy. I might need to do another coat. Build vanities. Yeah, you can check that off the list. I got that done. Grow fireplace. You betcha. Nope, don't check that one off. There's a weird little bit of white trim on the closet so that I can not stand so I'm gonna paint those the wall color but otherwise oh can't get enough of that wall hardware that you guys got oh on. yeah Fiona and I did the hardware my expert drill assistant and how clean is it in here it's so clean we did a big tidy <laughs> which is so great still lots to do lots to do like I said earlier in this video we only have two weeks until yeah. the photos get taken yeah so yeah <laughs> <laughs> lots to finish, lots. Yeah. But hopefully we can make it happen. So I'm super excited to start decorating. Hopefully start next week, finish the week after that. We'll be revealing this whole finished project soon. And make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when we make new videos. <laughs>